Welcome to Wrestling Talk in the Shop, where we cover all things professional wrestling, from new wrestling to classic wrestling and everything in between. We go to wrestling, we do some wrestling, and everything in the ring. Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Wrestling Talk in the Shop, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a look through the WWF magazine from July of 97 with the Road Warriors, Legion of Doom, however you know them, on the cover. Oh, what a rush. All right, take a look through here. You got a Skittles advertisement over here. Taste the rainbow. <laughs> the table of contents. There we go. All right. Then over here, All can, right. can you guess this superstar? Since graduating high school, um, has opted to use the his racket on opponents backs rather than hit spaldings over the net with it. I already know who this is. Uh, this <laughs> one secret superstar may not have a heavenly body, but his accomplishment of leading a sumo and mastodon to WWF glory speaks for itself. M Although MTV's House of Style may not be this month's secret superstar cup of tea, he does not. He does claim to get some great fashion tips from the clerks at the Men's Leisure Suit Emporium. This month's secret superstar is, a, is considered by his peers to be one of the greatest managers in sports entertainment. In fact, Jim Ross once called him the Bill Parcells of the WWF. He's a good one. You know who that is, everybody. If, you, if you're familiar with wrestling at all, you know who that you is. You already know who that is. But he's a good one. I wouldn't say he's the great of all, greatest of all time. But <clears throat> Then you got the Federation Fanatics over here. Email talking. You can pause it if you like to read the emails. And you got the Rookies to Legend. That's, and he's still, he's still doing it today. I mean, that's crazy. He's in AEW now, but... You got a WWF magazine advertising. Yep. You got open letters to the king. That's, that's a, a young king. Yeah, that's a young. This is it. Lawler rules. Jerry Lawler. That's a cool picture. Yep. You got mm. Vader trapped in Kuwait. That's the whole deal. He was trapped in Kuwait after he went off on the uh, TV uh, announcer guy. I mean, I don't know if that was a shooter or work, but. It was very entertaining. I remember seeing it. They did whole segments and stuff back in the day about him and uh, him being trapped in Kuwait. You know, ultimately he just had to pay a fine. And then you got Brian Pillman right here, Ken Shamrock, the world's most dangerous man. Then you got Sunny looking like she's somebody's sunning her day up or <laughs> however you want. Guys. <laughs> and then you got Ken Shamrock over here, an article on the world's most dangerous man. And he's a legit tough guy. I mean, he was he was in wrestling before UFC, and then he went back to wrestling. But back to UFC. Well, he he's a wrestler. UFC. Oh, back WWE. to wrestling. Okay. Sorry, I was confusing. Yeah. Uh, he should have been a world champion. He was an Intercontinental champion. He took some crazy chair shots to the head. Then we go on to the shop zone. Oh, these are cool. Always look forward to always look forward to this, you know. Yeah, the Undertaker t shirt, twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. What are um, they about forty now? Yeah. Mankind's t shirt, also twenty dollars. Yeah, pretty much the Pretty much all of them. Yeah. We got the Shawn Michaels wristband and and you get the sunglasses and a shirt for forty dollars. That was pretty high back then. Well. And then uh, you know, you got Stone Cold merch over here. He's gonna sell a lot of those. We got the gold dust shirt. That's gold dust risky. Oh yeah, yeah, that is very risky. Then you got in the line of fire with the Legion of Doom. These guys, they were, I mean, they were probably my favorite tag team of all time. You know, sad that no, neither one of them are with us anymore. But and then we got the trading cards. I guess somebody pulled out the trading cards in this one. No, these oh. are just. Uh, oh, okay. I want my trading cards. I want my trading cards. To card. order them. Oh, okay. These are prepaid now. Yeah. No post is necessary. And you got a, more more articles on the Legion of Doom there. The AOL, the ultimate, ultimate Undertaker wants you. PC. I don't know if it has anything to AOL, but I feel like I've seen that before. You got Psycho Sid in the mouth of the madness. What? What in the world is Psycho Sid thinking? And we got a personality profile. Let's read the personality profile. All right, these are, these are my favorite. Yeah. Favorite band, Led Zeppelin. Biggest thrill in life, winning the WWF title in Madison Square Garden. I'm going to 
I'm going to challenge that because I always knew Sid, he said he was just in wrestling for a business. You know, but anyway, go ahead. Well, maybe that was his current thrill. Yeah. Favorite sport beside wrestling? Softball. Yeah. No, no <laughs> doubt of that. Favorite, favorite athlete? Brady Anderson? Never heard of him. I don't know. That is. Favorite TV show? The Simpsons? It's still on. I didn't really seem like a guy that likes The Simpsons. <laughs> but. Hobbies? Softball and hunting. Favorite food? Chicken. Favorite fast food, quarter pounder with cheese. I can get on with that. I wish I had one right now. That sounds really good. We may have to go get one. (laughs) Uh, Best advice ever received, keep your mouth shut. Yeah. That's solid advice. Solid advice. Still keep that going. Favorite actor, Anthony Hopkins. Favorite actress, Marilyn Monroe. I mean, whose is it? Favorite music, uh, music. Favorite movie, Silence of the Lambs. That's pretty creepy. Um, Favorite game, Pac-Man. If I could have done it any different, I would have. I would have spent more time with my grandfather before he died. Mm-hmm. Secret talent. He's good at gymnastics. I could definitely see that. And favorite cartoon character is Babar the Elephant. I've never know. heard of that. Must, Must be before be old, my time. Old cartoon there. It was a nice shot of see it. I'm the master ruler of the world. That's pretty cool there. That's a good shot. Yeah. We go on to another more articles, career highlights. He's been everywhere, <laughs> but he never did. And then we got now available at the newsstands everywhere. The truth behind the heart. Oh, there's the. We got to see the cards here. These cards pretty cool. Hang this on, is, they're a little further back. Yeah. In your house results. Uh. Different. There's a young Rocky Johnson there. Rocky Maivia. Yeah. You got. Billy, uh, Rick of Rockabilly with Honky Tonk Man. Undertaker and Mankind, they had some brutal. And you got the cards over here. You, most of them look like they're all British Bulldog themed. Yeah, Where the Angry Dog. Yeah, they're all British. I think they all are. Yeah. That's cool. And you got more shots of the, uh, this is around the time when Paul Bear turned on the Undertaker and went with uh, Mankind. Different shots. Stone Cold and uh, Austin, or Stone Cold. Stone Cold and Bret Hart had some great matches. Uh, probably my favorite one was their WrestleMania 13 match. I mean, I mean, but yeah, that was that was really the uh, first tidbits of the rattlesnake there. You got the Wild Man, Mark Merrow, and Sable on a black car. Is the cat on the prowl? <laughs> uh, Commentary about Ventures. Yeah. Sable, she got over more than Mark did. Hmm. <laughs> and I think he got the first guaranteed uh, contract in WWF. I mean, he's. But I can see why she would get over more mm-hmm. than him. Nice shot of the. Uh, she was the star of that group. <laughs> Team Kent or the Heart Foundation there. Live on pay per view. You got Mosh and uh, these guys were sort of out there for the time. They wore dresses, you know, and it wasn't like a kilt like what Roddy Piper wore. It was an actual skirt, you know, but. Headbangers. Yeah. yeah. They were kind of strange. Different shots of headbanger. Headbangers. And you got. Uh, the China Ch- Yeah, she was uh, just getting, you know, she got prettier as she went along, but this is when she first come along, <laughs> first got in there. And ever since the uh, she manhandled Marlena, director, uh, former Intercontinental Champion Goldust on Raw's War, China has massively, what's that? The mass- massively muscled advisor to Hunter Hearst Hemsley has been caught in the public eye. It seems as if everyone wants to know about her with good reason. Yeah. She calls the star. Like I said, she she was definitely what do they call her the eighth wonder. No, that was ninth wonder. The ninth yeah, because Andre was the eighth wonder. Yeah. And uh, she was swole. Look at yeah. Him. Like I said, she got prettier as, we, as time went along. They softened her up a little yeah. bit. You got uh, Sid over here selling water guns. All right, who are you calling a squirt? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, Let's say what different ride up about the Undertaker and Gold Dust. Dear Undertaker, how can you take so much punishment and continue to be the most awesome face in the WWF? Since my dark cloud first appeared over the WWF, I've always relied on the, sin- the creatures of the night for my power, Daniel. Yes, it's true that the body that stores the soul of the Undertaker has been through many personal wars, 
but now the dark side is stronger than ever and in the end all my opponents will rest in peace <laughs> this is this is a different shot to their trip to Kuwait probably the same one that Vader was uh, on hotel arrest during and I guess that did we miss the superstar uh, maybe uh, part of it no but, there it is James Cornette yeah we, yeah, we all knew it was James E. Cornette but uh, somebody cut this out I don't know what that was on the back of that I think it's for your order or yeah. something but, oh yeah here that's what it was you could win your SummerSlam million dollar chance to win SummerSlam live on pay-per-view well I guess we won't we can't then you got a comic strip about the Road wrestling. Warriors yeah you can watch and Superstars Raw. Live Wire I used to love Live Wire I don't know maybe I, you know, that's all I could ever watch and you had Super WWF Superstars and Monday Night Raw but anyways guys we're going to wrap it up thanks for watching like and subscribe hit that notification bell we do all things pro wrestling on the channel